An earthquake swarm in southeastern Idaho is rattling windows across parts of the state in Wyoming and Utah. There have now been over 260 earthquakes since September 2nd in the Soda Springs area, and many have been over a magnitude of four or even higher on the scale. The earthquake swarm in southeast Idaho looked like it might be ending or at least slowing down on Thursday and Friday of last week, but then Saturday arrived and by the end of the day, 19 quakes had struck. There have been 34 more on Sunday alone, bringing the earthquake total since the swarm began on September 2nd to over 204. That's not even to mention the nine earthquakes in the past 24 hours of 1.5 or greater since I'm making this video. That's not even counting those. Now all the quakes have occurred in the southeast and northeast of Soda Springs area. Now while many believe California and the west coast are ripe for a huge earthquake, the heartland is often forgotten and these earthquakes are being swept under the rug and largely unimportant to the public at large. The current earthquake swarm began on the night of September 2nd when 34 quakes occurred. Those were followed by another 34 quakes last Sunday, 28 on Monday, 20 on Tuesday, 25 on Wednesday, 5 on Thursday, 5 on Friday, 19 on Saturday, and another 34 on Sunday. And again, not including the nine that's taking place today as of me making this video. There was even a 4.5 magnitude quake in that area this morning. So far, the most powerful earthquake in this one was the second quake to occur. It was a 5.3 magnitude earthquake and struck at 5.56 p.m. on September 2nd. Now authorities say it's been years since Southeast Idaho experienced a quake of 5.0 magnitude or greater. Such quakes can cause damage to houses and other buildings, but fortunately this was not the case by comparison. A 7.0 magnitude quake would be at least 50 times bigger than the 5.3 magnitude earthquake that hit Southeast Idaho last weekend. Now, of course, the swarm of earthquakes in Idaho isn't limiting fears to a larger local quake. Many are afraid that these swarms could trigger the Yellowstone super volcano eruption as the caldera just northeast of the Soda Springs area, a mere 170 miles away. While it has been over 600,000 years since the last eruption, some seismologists are concerned that recent swarms of earthquakes may be sending warning signals that the super volcano is ready to explode once again. When a volcano starts acting up prior to an eruption, one of the typical signs is increased earthquake activity. Research professor at University of Utah, Jamie Farrell told Newsweek, should the Yellowstone super volcano erupt, thousands of people would die instantly from the eruption. While an earthquake in California could devastate the West Coast, a Yellowstone eruption has the potential to be a worldwide catastrophic level event. Soda Springs, Idaho's proximity to Yellowstone is hardly comforting. What do you think? Is all the earthquakes in Soda Springs, Idaho a sign that the Yellowstone super volcano is about to erupt? Leave your comments below this video. Thanks for watching.